Hey, this bitch on. Rolex, cut it up. Rolex, buttercup. <laughs> it's time for the hottest, hottest, hottest radio show and podcast. I just looked at my wrist. I got time today. With DJ Brain. It's time for Chef Radio. Radio. Yes, sir. Welcome to the Starter Here NFR Podcast. It is Chef Radio. I am your host, DJ Prem. That's flyer than most. You dig? Hey, man, I got it's a special, special, special edition of Chef Radio today, September 8th, man. It's my fucking birthday. It's the day greatness was fucking born. So you know what we gonna do. We gonna turn the fuck up. I got Tata Samurai coming up on the way. I got the rap snacks. Hey, but I ain't even gonna say no more. I'm gonna let y'all listen to some shit by me. That's what the Chef Special finna be about. All about me me today man it's me supreme the game sporadic let's go chef radio you reverse the world reverse the world hey get it no it's supreme uh geek that's sporadic get it poof bitches magic you read beast that's a classic smoking gas while in traffic boom now it's man down. Yes, I ain't never been a nigga to take hand out. Nah. You confused, you confused. Raise that eyebrow. Now I'm taking the top spot. So what you saying now? Cause it's geek that's sporadic. Did it? Goof, bitches, magic, you Woo. beast. That's a classic. Yeah. Smoking gas while in traffic. Hey. Beat up, pipe up, pick up, Woo. and apply pressure. Got a plan. Yeah. I'm feeling good cause I'm that man. Uh. I got the world in my hands. This is me and where I stand. Yeah. I got a hundred, hundred bands. Count it up a hundred grand hey. while Yuri smoke a hundred grand. That's that last minute got a crib last minute get it down i don't sink i never drown fuck the city i tear it down i do it for my fucking town i know you fucking with it now this gang gang so where my clown where it go oh yeah it's right there right there i'm the type of nigga give you nightmares yeah. oh god oh god don't you fucking stare no try to put me to the test don't you fucking dare let go let go never change up now nah. going fast speed of light can't catch up no, I'm not a myth. Ha. No, it's pre gang gang. You ain't fucking with. Cause it's geek that's sporadic. Get it. Poof, bitches, magic, you read beast. That's a classic. Smoking yeah. gas while in traffic. <gasps> Boom. <laughs> now it's man down. Yes, I ain't never been a nigga to take hand out. Nah. You confused. You confused. Raise that eyebrow. Now I'm taking the top spot. So what you saying now? Cause it's geek that's sporadic. Get it. Poof, bitches, magic, you read beast. That's a classic. Smoking yeah. gas while in traffic. Hey. Yes, sir. The chef special starts now. It's time. What's up with the chef? The chef. The chef. Special. In the kitchen, wrist distant like a stir fry. With DJ. In the mix. Gypsy crib in the middle. Chef Radio. Radio. Yes, sir. Special, special birthday edition. Let's go. Rolex, cut it up. Rolex, buttercup. My checks, run it up. Alex, what is up? Rolex, got so many diamonds. My Rolex so damn top. Let's go. Rolex, cut it up. Rolex, buttercup. My checks, run it up. Alex, what is up? Paddock on your wrist, I still can't find. Yeah, 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 yeah. Piece of the realest, no one loves a bat. No snakes around me, I don't mess with rats. I've been the greatest, like mine in the past. Killing these rappers, I don't own a gap. All of my killing coming off the cap. Walk in the room, like where the money at? I'm in the booth, I'm cooking double mat. I'm using both the way I run the track. Killing these rollers like I was a cat. Moving so fast that I forgot the pack. Carry my brothers, put them on my back. Who else you know that be moving like that? Who else you know that be grooving like this? Losing these haters, add them to the list of all of the people that I'm gonna forget. When I'm driving Maserati to the zip, and now that y'all faking all of y'all commit. It's me and I'm hoping y'all don't miss a twist. All of y'all could have been a part of this. All of y'all could have been a part of this. Going 
going crazy in the booth. I'm ruthless. Booth is hot as never blue. It's clueless. Hoolies lose it. Trying to ruin my movement. Don't they know that I do the stupid? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on now. I mean, can't y'all tell that I'm doing this easy? What? Rap game needed me. Yeah. Girls want a piece of peasy, please. I gotta eat, eat, eat. Gotta keep grinding. Told you I never sleep. Let's go. Rolex. Cut it up. Rolex. Buttercup. My checks. Run it up. Alex. What is up? Rolex. Got so many diamonds, my Rolex so damn timeless. Rolex, cut it up, Rolex, but I cut my checks, run it up, I let it up. Paddock on your wrist, I still can't find it. I'm still fucking that. Welcome to my city, pick it up and get litty. Got a whole bunch of BDs and they so fucking pretty. Let go. Welcome to my town, I'm the king, I wear the crown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crown, cause yeah. it's about to go down. Niggas attention. You speak on my name, that's an honorable mention. No. Supreme signing checks, why you signing petition? Call it right down the middle, that's a split decision. Y'all own Caleb Dick, where my shout out at? He a cool ass nigga, no disrespect. No. You fake ass nigga, can't run up a check. Everybody time is up when he give you a say. My name is Supreme, but who am I to talk? Money on my mind, so I forgot how to walk. I fly like the Atlanta Hawks. Y'all on my time, it's Supreme o'clock. Tell yo bitch, what? I gotta go. Yeah. I'm that nigga from my head to my toes. Let's go. 2018 might be the year that I blow. Don't take it too far, nigga, wait. Whoa, welcome to my city, and I got your fucking bitty. Now I'm sucking on her titty, then I'm playing with her kitty. No, a nigga with a record deal that ain't did squat. What? Walking around my city, acting like big shot. Okay. No, a nigga with a record deal that ain't did squat. What? Walking around my city, acting like big shot. Welcome to my city, pick it up and get litty. Got a whole bunch of bitties, and they so fucking pretty. Welcome to my town, I'm the king, I wear the crown. So busy, let's go! Go and take a seat so I can tell a story Introducing JP's cool vision Niggas getting pretty in the car That's worth a milli riding with the roof missing Making so much money, gotta keep it in my pillow Like I got a tooth missing Ice on every part of me, all my drippers freezing Body getting cool shivers Talking diamonds on my neck and teeth and wrists And put a couple of them on my feet And now I'm rapping rappers paying for the feature All I really wanna know is baby, you with me Now who's with me? Dominoes, if you ain't trying to grind then adios Stay stuck like the rest in the common mode Stay in line for the fall like dominoes But I'ma keep up with the vision, gotta kill him and kill him I gotta show all my infinite to the venom I'm spinning because the thing that I intended made me fall to the limit And I don't see no competition Yeah, this but who isn't? It's like my life is a convertible boy. don't got a ceiling Yeah, don't got a ceiling Yeah, yeah, don't got a ceiling Had to say it three times Make sure you can hear me And promise you don't want a problem From the ceiling Let go I'm really in here Going crazy Rocking this beat like a baby Let me get serious Let me stop playing I know y'all hear what I'm saying I'm talking taking a chick on a date In a JR expensive to the Himalayas Lay on the beach Views I stand Go home with yellow sand up in your hair It's looking like you really going super sand Y'all can tell me y'all ain't messing with the plan Let me emphasize on what I'm saying Yeah, where my Virgos at, man? Let's go! But that's not the end All the things I mentioned just the beginning Hey. That's the beginning, ayy. I'm giving up cause I'm finished, ayy. Never mind, I'm with your kid. Yeah. Not gonna stop till I win. Yeah. My girl, she my main job. I'm just getting my game on. Rappers singing them same songs. Rhyming they can't like spray on. Uh. Switch to my scene cause I came on. Test drop, man, that lane gone. X's and O's, but I stayed on. Top of the list, my main spawn. I like this cause my song is getting hotter. I'm trying to cool off. Someone pass me some water. They know we flow. We can't stay low. For sure, we don't. On a space cool trip, let go. Space cool, well, space cool trip. Space cool, whip. 
I got my space suit drill. Up in the club, high as a bitch. I'm out with the gang, you notice my click. Paparazzi taking off fleece. Too many bitches don't know who to pick. Everything good, cause they so thick. When I leave, they all on my dick. Flipping that ass just like a brick. This my life, I know you wish you had it. I do this shit like AI, hey, bitch. I don't need no practice. The sky is my hood, bitch. I don't need no magic. Yo, bitch, better stop. She like a go go gadget. Flying through the top just like I'm doing the traffic. Be so fucking good, make a nigga wanna crowd, sir. She bouncing that ass, popping it like a fire. Yeah, when she twerk, damn. make a nigga wanna smirk. Let go, doing the money walk like her name was Lil Dirt. Beats bumping so hood, make a nigga wanna grab a strap. I love the way she clap, 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 clap. She said she like it when I smack that, tap that. Watch everybody stop and stare when one out seven rack. Whip it and whip it and whip it and whip it. it. Anybody in this bitch can be it. Free benefit, you hypocrite. I must admit, I love this shit. Throw your fit, I'm not gonna quit. I'm that nigga with the shit. Supreme, that nigga on the attack. One out seven going back to back. Count stacks, spitting facts. Got your girl, I'm out of clap that. Once upon a time, I was heartbroken. Now I talk too much, I'm so outspoken. Like Hulk Hogan with a fucking broken token. Now I'm in disguise, you can say I'm fucking cloaking. When I slow it down, it get a little cloudy. I'm the quicker picker rubber man. Call me bounty. Sorry to tell you, but your bitch getting a little rowdy. Never mind, I take it back. She getting a little bouncy. Huh? Yeah. I said I love it. When she making that sound, I tell her, come on, baby. You can last another round. Get it. Be so fucking good. Make a nigga wanna crowd, sir. She bouncing that ass, popping it like a firework. The way she twerk, make a nigga wanna smirk. She doing the money walk like her name was Lil Dirt. Beats bumping so hood, make a nigga wanna grab. Rolling in the Dodge Demon, but this rolly got me freezing. Lamborghini loud, black face, nice crowd, burning rubber, making clouds, clear the smoke, roll the loud. I'm not no fucking weirdo, and I'm not no fucking coon. I just want you little niggas to just listen to my tunes. I'm not no fucking psycho, yo, please just listen. If you don't click play, nigga, I'ma start to kill it. 20 years young, had to grow as a man. I feel so ignored, like my name was Stan. At the end of the day, I'm my number one fan to be big as yes, Drake. Is that really God's plan? I'm going Hollywood, no Bollywood. Wish your girl would tell me good. Hollywood, wish you could. Cali, yeah, that's Hollywood. I'm going Hollywood. I'm going Hollywood. I'm going Hollywood, no Bollywood. Wish your girl would tell me good. Hollywood, wish you could. Cali, yeah, that's Hollywood. I'm going Hollywood. Hollywood, Hollywood. I'm going Hollywood. She said I could have it all for free. Yes, of course. She bouncing that. Twerk at the party, yes of course. And she know I like to get it steady, yes of course. Ay, ay, yes of course. Ay, ay, yes of course. Ay, ay, yes of course. Take your bitch to Budokan, cause that booty been a bomb. Yeah, that's like, yeah, right. let go. Master, I'm the con. I'm that nigga, I'm the don. I'm that nigga, and it's prime. And your bitch, she a dime. No, please, baby. I got hard, ain't it's all for this cheese, baby. I'm the captain of this ship, you say how it is, baby. I got bad intentions, but I don't leave, baby. She on her knees, and she scream. Let go. Ah, uh, she want more. So the back of ass bitch at the door. Watch me run. She said I can have it all for free, yes of course She bouncing that ass over me, yes of course And she like to twerk at the party, yes of course And she know I like to get it steady, yes of course ay, ay, Yes of course ay. Y'all yo, cannot stop me. Don't do no party. Nah. Chop to your head like karate. Yeah. I'm saying I really don't know when I'm stopping. I hear the tiger just like I'm Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. Uh, wax on. Wax off. Wax on. Wax off. Sensei. 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 Wax on. Wax off. Wax on. Wax off. Sensei. 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 Sensei, I'm your teacher. Yeah. Sensei, I'm your leader. Let go. I like we up in the bleachers. Yeah. Cold, I'ma need a heater. She called in my web like I'm Peter. Ringing bells. But no 
I'll take her. OG Lee, I'm a new creature. Break your neck, bitch, new freezer. Sensei, just like Master Splinter. Follow me, you'll be a winner. Chopsticks on your bitch for dinner. Scream, ain't nobody bigger. Whipping it fast like it's nunchucks. Made it on my own, I don't need luck. Put it on the spot, you'll seize up. Karate Kid, put one knee up. Mr. Miyagi, I promise y'all, y'all cannot stop me. Don't do no party. Chop to your head like karate. Uh. I'm saying I really don't know when I'm stopping. I hear the tiger, just like I'm Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee. Uh. Wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. Sensei, 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 sensei. Wax on, wax on. I'm going high tech. She need a bike check. Y'all not hearing me. I need a mic check. I ain't right. No way. Got my sight set. Set. Going numb, nigga. I'm feeling lifeless. I'm going high, high check. Need a bike, bike check. Y'all not hearing me. I need a mic check. Let go. I ain't right yet. I got my sight set. I'm going numb, nigga. I'm feeling lifeless. Bow. Bow. Damn. My niggas beastie, like some fucking hounds. Pipe, damn. I'm that nigga, don't make a fucking sound. Two decades and it sound real cynical. Rap about the same shit, say that it's typical. I don't give a fuck, long as I reach that pinnacle. Throwing more shots, boys about to get physical. Drop from your level, wasn't really mythical. Khalil ain't the only one to rap real lyrical. Future so bright, it ain't even visible. Beat me? Jesus can't make that mirror. Whipping the bricks, I'm fucking your bitch. She all on my dick, don't fuck with the kids. Don't fuck with the pigs, she wanted the kids. I wanted the men, she swallowed the G's. I suck on her tears, her mouth got the fizz. Her hair got the frizz, play hard like I'm Wiz. I'm taking the quiz, I'm loading the clips. I'm hitting the legs, then counting the chips. Chef Preen cooking, I got the recipe. So fresh and public, boy, you know it's me. I run this fucking city. Bitch, keep me. You understand, Preen? Yeah, bitch, completely. I'm going high tech. She need a mic check. Y'all not hearing me. I need a mic check. I ain't right yet. I got my sight set. I'm going I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna cap no more. I just wanna stack this though. Niggas know I don't play. Niggas know I don't play. Had a good tune, I'm like, my first name was Quay. I ain't trying no more. Ball like that no more. Remember them long nights when I had to sleep on the floor. Police knocking the door. It was just me and my bro. We had to run to the stove. Remember that night like it was yesterday, cause it was so cold. Try to touch me, I'm like, whoa, yeah. Life's what you make it. I'm done with the fake shit. They claim they pressing, but don't ever say shit. I am that nigga, I'm tired of the waiting. I got the crown and it's not for the taking. I don't wanna run some more, I don't wanna try no more. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna count no more. I just wanna stay this though. Niggas know I don't play, niggas know I don't play. My so fucked up and I'm going out this way. I, I just wanna rap so no, I don't wanna try no more. I don't wanna, I don't wanna. I just wanna stack this though. Niggas know I don't play. Niggas know I don't play. I had a good tune, I'm like, my first name was Quay. Ah. I don't wanna trap no more. Make a milli blue fences, I'm stacked on the flow. Got Versace for the clothes. Tour bus in the back, I'm smacking your hoe. Chain bezels in them diamonds. Fuck your hoe, cause she a diamond. Pussy hoe, stay the line. Capping niggas, yeah, I'm fighting. Fish your furious rings, grummy. Real niggas are beside me. You take a size, never size me. Side nines, never lie me. Cause I'm in the game, 60 minutes, 24, 7, Mac 11, spitting. Yeah, nigga, getting too heavy. I just want the fucking cream. Dollars in my greatest dreams. Bad bitch on a team. Louis V and Supreme. Shit ain't really what it seems. Cause a nigga barely seen. But when I pull up to the scene, all these hoes want to sing. Yeah. I'm just doing what I know best. Ride up my city with no vest. Stacking money, gotta invest. Rappers and shit, I just ingest. I don't wanna run no more. I don't wanna try no more. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna count no more. I just wanna stack this though. Niggas know I don't play. Niggas know I don't play. My so fucked up and I'm going out this way. I, I just wanna rap no more. I don't wanna try no more. I don't wanna. 
I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna cap no more. I just wanna stack this though. Niggas know I don't play. Niggas know I don't play. I had to cut you on know, like my first name was Quay. Yeah, sir, that was a special fucking edition of the Chef Special, all me, Supreme the Gink, man. Let's get it to the rap snacks. Let's go. Damn, nigga, smack harder. <laughs> it's time for the rap, 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 rap snacks on Chef Radio. Welcome into a special birthday edition of the rap snacks, man. We're going to start shit off a little bit different, bro. I'm going to talk about what the fuck I got going on. You know, I usually talk about what's going on in the industry, man. Let me talk about what the fuck I got going on, man. Um, Basically, Chef Radio, man. I'm just promoting the fuck out of this, bro. Um, I got a whole bunch of uh, artists, producers, DJs coming through, sliding through. I got Tata Samurai coming up next. Y'all about to see that interview. Then I got DJ Just 100 next week. I got a couple more people. I got Jaylene Mack coming on the show. I got Celine. Bro, a whole bunch of people coming up, man. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. I got a lot of content about to come out. This coming out before this come out. Then I got the the last week episode about to drop. I've been taking forever on that, bro. I, I apologize. But, you know, nigga, just been stupid busy. I got school. I got work. I got this. I got that. I got DJing. It's all of this, bro. It's just, I'm just constantly running around 1,000 miles an hour. So, Wake and Bake Wednesdays. That's coming out. I'm staying with that, bro. I, it seemed that, you know, a couple people fucking with that, uh, fucking with the Wake and Bake Wednesdays. I fuck with the Wake and Bake Wednesdays, man. I'm going to make the videos a little bit longer. I'm going to pause a little bit more. I'm going to talk a little bit more in there, on there. Um, I know a couple of y'all was telling me, you know, I'll talk a little bit more. You know, that shit was funny, you know, shit like that. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely fuck with that. Man, today is my birthday. I'm about to turn the fuck up. September 8th, bro, the day greatness was born, bro. Y'all see what the fuck I've been doing. Y'all see what I do, man. If you've been rocking with me since day one, nigga, you know who the fuck I am. I'm in a business nigga of the world, bro. I just do everything, man. I'm just, I always try to not stay in one box, bro. Um, Be able to, to, to be an artist, to be a DJ, as y'all heard some of my music, whether it's old, some of the some of it's new, some of the shit y'all ain't never heard before. You know what I'm saying? That I kept locked in a vault. Um, Speaking of... DJ Preem, a.k.a. Supreme the Gink, will be back in the fucking studio this month, baby. Yes, I finally, 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 after what it's been, how long has it been since I've been in the studio, bro? It's been like three years, three years. I released Rolex. Um, Actually, no, no, it's been two years because I dropped Rolex this year. I made Rolex in twenty. I made my my second half of Rolex in twenty nineteen. It got finished. So, yeah, your boy is back in the motherfucking studio. So expect new music from me real fucking soon, man. I appreciate y'all for rocking me. Let's get into a couple of these stories, bro. Fifty sitting in the game. I'm not, and I'm gonna keep this shit short. By the way, Fifty sitting in the game. I guess these niggas having a scuffle and shit like that. I heard Fifty Cent talking about um. The game and shit like that on the Breakfast Club, bro. I didn't know these niggas actually had like a beef, bro. These niggas got a beef, man. Cause the game was in Houston last night. Um talking about, man, fuck that nigga 50 Cent and shit like that. I'm like, oh no. Like it's that's almost like going to New York saying fuck 50 Cent because he live here now. You know what I'm saying? People here fuck with that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, bro. I hope they, they get their shit reconciled, bro. They some old ass niggas, but they OGs in the game though. It's real it's real respect for them niggas, bro. But I hope they get their shit straightened out. I ain't trying to see no, you know, bad blood between these niggas and shit like that. So hopefully, you know what I'm saying, they can get their shit uh, figured out. Man, next story. This nigga, DJ Khaled. What type of nigga? Khaled. I like when drink I Like, why are you dick riding so hard, bro? It's okay to tell the nigga, like, hey, I think this could be better. I think this could, you know what I'm saying, you could do this on here, do this, do that, do this, do that. Nigga. If he don't know how to take criticism, then maybe you shouldn't be working with the nigga. I understand it's Drake, but nigga, you, I like when Drake I like. Like, no, nigga. If you, if you feel like the nigga can do better in certain aspects, if you feel like, you know what I'm saying, this part of the song can be tweaked, a hi-hat, a this, a that, nigga, do it. Tell him. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to dick ride this nigga to the sunset. Tell the nigga, like, hey, Drake, I think, you know what I'm saying, you could do better on this. I think this could be better. I think that could be better, bro. You don't have to dick ride the fuck out this nigga. Khaled, um, I'm not going to lie. Fuck with the album. It's, it's cool. Um, number one album in the country right now is God Did. You know? Eh. It's Khaled, bro. It's cool. Nigga had, I ain't going to lie. Nigga had feature after feature after feature after feature after feature. 
Um, God did was was hard. I like that song. So yeah. Um, and then some more news. It ain't that much news out right now. You know, what I'm saying I already did it damn near everything last episode. Um, YG announced that he got some shit coming out uh, on September 30th. I will definitely be listening to that. I fuck with YG. I fuck with the West Coast music, bro. Yes, I will definitely be into that. Uh, the name of the album is I Got Issues. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely be fucking with that. Um, uh, one more thing. Um. Pat Stay, R.I.P. to Pat Stay, bro. I never listened to him. I know he was a rapper. Um, he died at the age of 36 uh, due to a stabbing. I'm not going to go into all the details about that shit. If you want to look up that shit, go on TMZ. Um, R.I.P. to that man. Um, sending all my condolences to his family and his friends. Uh, so, yeah, man. But, again, it's a special birthday edition of Chef Radio, man. The vibes is in the fucking building. I'm fucking feeling it. I got that boy Ty the Samurai coming up next. Don't go nowhere. Keep it locked. It's Chef Radio. Good Chef Radio. It's your boy DJ Prima. I got my first guest in this motherfucker. Ty the Samurai. It's my yes, birthday, sir. man. Yes, we about to get to it real quick. Oh, shit. Happy birthday, yeah, appreciate bro. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate oh, it, my shit. nigga. Appreciate nice. it. For sure, for sure. So, I'm going to talk about, <laughs> first, how the fuck do I even know this, man? <laughs> so, <laughs> I met him at a place... One of my first ever DJ spots I got down here was at this place called Atomic Bottle. And um, they, it was a Thursday night. I remember it smooth as fuck. Damn. And bro came up to me while I was DJing. He was like, hey, bro, can you play my music? I'm the type of nigga where I always say it's it's always room in my table for everybody to eat, bro. So Thanks. I always, it don't matter if your shit trash, if your shit good. I'm going to try to, I'm going to play your shit if I can. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So bro came up to me. He was like, hey, bro, can you play him? He was like, yeah, for sure. You got it on title? He was like, yeah, all right, all right, bet. Man, he got this song called Electric Lemonade. <laughs> hey, I ain't going to cap. So he played. So I, I was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, whatever. So I played. I'm like, bitches kind of shaking their ass to it and shit like that. We got a like, nice little beat, too. I was like, hold up. Who is this nigga? You know what I'm oh, saying? God, like, <laughs> like, who is this nigga? So, yeah, yeah no, nah, that's uh, how we met, man. Um. I ain't gonna lie, bro was like bold enough to like come up there and be like, hey bro, can you play my shit? You know what I'm saying? Let, let me ask you this question. Is that your was that your first time ever like being at a spot asking a DJ to play your shit? Yeah, bro. Like I was just there with my homies and shit. And um I think it was around the time where I had just I had just dropped that track. And um it was like, bro, like Jay I had seen Jay Prince in there and I'm like, damn, bro, like I don't care what really happened from that. I just, you know what I'm saying, if I don't put myself out there, like, how am I really going to be successful in the future if I don't, like, you know, have enough, you know what I'm saying, courage to get my ass up and go, you know, try to try to put myself on the, on the, on the forefront. So I was like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, I think I had cash stuff you too, just, yeah, just yeah, off of, yeah, just yeah, off of you know what I'm saying? I was going to do it for the free skin, bro. Still yeah. gave me some money for it. Yeah, bro, because, cool like, shit. man, I know DJs be, you know, they be, nah, you know, oh, I wait an hour or some yeah. shit, you know what I'm saying? But, like, it was just the energy you gave me, bro. I was like, man, that's real. So, shit, I just sent you what I could and shit. Yeah, for sure. So, um, his reasoning, on you know, or his way of thinking is the why I even became a DJ. Um, because I would always go up to DJs in a club and shit like that when I was back home in KC and be like, hey, can you play my shit? And niggas would be like, yeah, I play your shit. Never play my shit. Never do it. You know what I'm saying? Never do it. Or you know, like, you know, like, nah, I'm not going to play your shit. Or nah, I can't play your shit. Knowing yeah. damn well you can or yeah. whatever. So, sometimes you can't, I get it or whatever, but that's the reason I became a DJ because I was like, you know what? I'm going to play my own shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm going to you know, take your job and then I'm going to play my own exactly. shit. Exactly. So, it, I don't get no right. yes or no and then the people uh -huh. in this building, you ain't got a choice but to listen to Ex it. You feel me? Or leave. <laughs> yeah, right. That's facts. So, that's facts. So, yeah, that's the that's the biggest reason I, yeah. I became a DJ. Um, so, yeah, bro, I, I like the fact that, you know, bro was bold enough to be like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Fuck, fuck with my shit. Play my shit. And, that shit was hard, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. I, Damn, she was, bro, hey, I appreciate that. Hey, I was listening to that motherfucker even uh, yeah. afterwards, bro. I, I think I made a couple posts on <laughs> yeah, my story and sent yeah, to him. I was like, yeah, bro, this, this electric bro, lemonade kind of hard. Nigga, even, the, even the video was hard. So, Man. Um, yeah, bro. Crazy, um, bro. Another, another, we're gonna switch topics real quick because I gotta know this shit. All right. How in the entire fuck 
did you get your name on that damn bridge? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fuck you do that. Yo, so man, this is a it's a it's kind of a long story, but it ain't. So like it kind of started uh like when I was super young, I always like got um very like fascinated by graffiti and shit and um always passing up under that bridge like which is it was just so crazy seeing like everybody's shit up there bro it was like i don't know i just love passing up under like uh, uh 45 the beast on one bridge mm-hmm. and um i was just like shit one day one day i'm gonna do it one day i'm gonna do it one day i kept saying that shit and one day bro i was just like I'm finna do it. Like, I, I got to figure out how to do it. I didn't know how. I just, I was like, I got to figure it out. So I grabbed a bunch of paint and, um, you know, a little roller. And I had to find, like, the bridge and then find out where to park to, you know, get yeah. up there. So uh, found the place. Um, I think I had just dropped. No, I was about to drop my uh, my Fatality single. So I was like, I need this to go big. So I need as much exposure as I could possibly get. And that was like the biggest thing I could do. I ain't got hella bread to be paying for billboards yeah, and for shit. Sure. That's a free billboard. Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying? So shit, I was like, all right, bet. So uh, I got uh, one of my homegirls and my homeboy to come film the process. And um, walk, we walked the train tracks. And uh, just you just you got to lean over over the bridge, standing on top of like a... Bro, it's literally like the thinnest little metal piece. You have to stand on top of it, bro. Like, it's literally super fucking thin. And if you slip, you could literally fall and die. Like, it's crazy. It's fucking crazy. But, uh, this nigga wow. Yeah, bro. So, <laughs> I seen wild. that shit, bro. And I'm like, damn, I'm already here. Yeah, the sure. song dropping in like two days. I got to do it. So, fuck it. I was like, all right, fuck it. So, you know, I got it done. It took, it took like, it took like, I want to say like five hours because I had never did it before. I didn't, I didn't know what I was really getting myself into. But yeah. once I started, I had to complete it. And it was really crazy because I had my sponges um, to roll the paint on the bridge. They kept falling off my fucking the pole, bro. Mm. So they would fall off and fall to the freeway. And I'm like, fuck. So I lost every last sponge. And I didn't have I didn't have no more sponges, bro. And I'm about, I'm about damn near done with my name and shit. And, um... I had to fuck around and like take my shirt off and wrap it around the pole and, and finish the last letter so it came out really ugly but it got done. It <laughs> yeah, got it's done. Like, so shit, it's yeah. Hey, cause I I ain't gonna lie. Um, so I'm gonna put a picture up of the bridge and and Ella, you got so, you got pictures of it. Yeah, yes. I got. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah, I, I had him send me one and then we'll I'll show y'all. But yeah, um, bro, it's like this bridge. If you don't live in Houston, cause I didn't for a, for a minute, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I just moved here or whatever. So <laughs> you. Going to Katy Freeway and it's basically like you going downtown and everybody passed this damn bridge, bro. Yeah, you, like bro. everybody in the, thousands of people a day, you know what I'm saying? Pass this bridge, see that shit. So and you ain't got no choice but to you got like, no see choice. it, bro. You can't you can not you can't <laughs> not see it, bro. It's, it's so, impossible, bro. Yeah, it's, imp- it's impossible <laughs> not to see it, man. I'm gonna show y'all, but um, yeah, no, I was I seen that shit and I, I actually went under it when your when your shit was well, up when there. When it was up there, you yeah, seen it, was it up there, I seen it. That shit I seen crazy, it. I was bro. like, shit crazy. I, I seen him post it. I'm like, this nigga. No, he didn't really put that shit. That nigga, like, actually, I nah, thought, bro. I thought, bro, had like, <laughs> um, photoshopped this shit on there. Nah, you know what I'm saying or whatever. And I went under that motherfucker. That motherfucker said, at Todd the Samurai. Yeah, I, I said, like, this on. nigga, what the <laughs> fuck? Hold up. This nah, shit crazy. but yeah, nah, that shit is hard, bro. That shit is hard. Yeah. I I never knew how people did that shit. Yeah, it's, you know it's, what I'm it's a process, bro. And, and um, you know, there's a lot of people that's like, you know. Of course, they they've been doing it, so they're a little better than me or, or whatever. But, um, like I said, it was only like to get a point across. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of a lot of people, a lot of traffic came to my Instagram after that, bro. Like people hating. Sure. Why'd you take be someone down? And <laughs> why'd you do this? And I never took be someone down. It wasn't it wasn't up when I went up there. Because if it was, I wouldn't. Have, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. like a Houston thing and yeah. I would I wouldn't like disrespect just to put my name up there right. so it was it was like not there so that's why I just found the perfect time to go up there and you know do my thing so yeah it seemed like all like any type of thing that's on the bridge be on the bridge for about a couple weeks couple weeks and then yeah. it'd be it'd be yeah. down or something something else mm-hmm. go up there something else, you yeah. know what I'm saying what type of music do you do um that's a that's an interesting question I do I do I do whatever I'm feeling bro like okay like there's a lot of people that like 
you know, they, they try to, you know, come at me like I'm a rapper and I like I rap, you know, I make hip hop, but like it's really like whatever I'm feeling. Like I got a I got I got um what they got thrown music, I got pop, I got rock, I got shit, I got like all type of shit. Like it really just like you how I'm feeling. All. Yeah, I do it all. You do whatever you yeah. you're feeling. I, I feel Facts. like that. So. so who would you say is a an influencer over you know, what type of music you do? Or if if anybody. I, I got a lot of like major influences when it comes to to music. Uh, one of my biggest influences uh, since I was a kid was uh, Lincoln Park. Okay. And um, they they just kind of exposed me to like a different uh, element of music. Like I don't know, bro, because I was always I was always like told by my parents like you know I couldn't necessarily listen to rap in the house. Um, you know, very uh, traditional Christian home, so yeah. I guess I ha- I was pushed to find something else that I could listen to without them really bugging me. So I don't know how I don't I don't really remember how I stumbled uh, across Lincoln Park, but when I did, it was it was a rap, bro. Like it was a rap. Like ever since then, it was just like my whole my whole ear for music was like fine tuned to like just a different sound you know what i'm saying yeah. like to, i basically had to teach myself how to like fuck with that type of music you know what i'm saying yeah. and um once once i did it opened my ear to other things and i started listening to pop and skrillex and all type of you know crazy shit that For i sure. guess black people wasn't really listening to and shit it was just it was over this, since then bro so I seen in your video Fatality mm-hmm. that you had a, a shirt on with Juice World on it. Um, mm-hmm. Was Juice World of uh, influence? You know, what I'm saying on on you, man. Juice World, man, bro. Juice World, is, is, Juice World is and was such a like anomaly, bro. Like that dude. People can say what they want to say, bro, about whatever his life choices was, but honestly, bro. To, to to be able to like freestyle the way he did was completely ridiculous. Like you, oh, yeah, for sure. you have to have a whole different type of like mind set up to to be able to like create entire songs like back to back. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like people can't really do that. Like I could freestyle a little bit, but but not like that, bro. Like that <laughs> that man, bro. He would. They, they, I saw one interview, bro. I forgot who it was, and they said they will put a beat on. He'll freestyle a whole song, and then they'll run the beat back. He'll freestyle a whole another song. He would do that shit like six times. Damn. And then he would tell the engineer to choose one, choose which one's the hardest. Who the hell's doing that right <laughs> yeah, now? Yeah, that's wild. That's wild, bro. That's so, wild. Yeah, that man crazy. He's a huge inspiration. That's as far what's as up. like stepping outside my comfort zone and shit. That's what's up, man. How do you come up with the ideas for these videos and shit like that? And you know what I'm saying? Who do you work with? What do you, you know what I'm saying? What do you do? What is that process like? Man, that, it's a long process, honestly. Um, so I start because I direct all my videos. Like I, I really don't let, you know, um people control how the video like the vibe of the video, yeah. I let people help, but the vision is pretty much like Yours. mine. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I start writing the video when I'm writing the song, like when the song is, is near completion, I'm already working on the video, like okay. saying yes around the same time. Cause I know it's going to take a lot. So for, uh, for fatality, um, well, really not even just Fatality, for all my songs, I listen to the song on repeat for weeks and months at a time to envision what I think the image of that sound is. Like, it has to match perfectly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? no, so, I get that. I'm I'm, I'm kind of the same way when it comes to the, to the music videos, mm-hmm. bro. Like, I, but really before I kind of, technically stopped making music mm. um i will always think about you know what i'm saying what what type of vibe is this giving off and then think about like almost damn near per second mm. what i want the video exactly. to look like exactly. you know what i'm saying exactly. so no i definitely get you when it, yeah. when it comes to that when it comes to music you know when you're doing videos when you 
writing music, when you're making music, does any fears come up? Like, you know what I'm saying? Whether are, are people, are you worried about whether people going to, how they gonna feel about it? The criticism, mm-hmm. you know, what I'm saying anything like that. The money, the time that you put into this shit. Does any any of that shit scare you? Um, not necessarily scare me, but I kind of have like a little fear of not a fear, but a worry of how it's gonna be received. Um, so like I go through a lot of like throwing shit away and and rewriting it and taking it back and writing something else. I go sure. I go through a lot of that trying to, you know, trying to I'm thinking about the audience, but I, I recently I've came into a point in my life where I'm like, this is my self expression and it's how I feel. And if they rock with it, cool. If they don't, it's whatever. Cause at the end of the day, this is something that I feel like I'm not writing. I'm not necessarily writing for people or writing, you know, for the audience. I'm writing this like this is something that I need to get off my chest, even if I'm just talking shit. Um, it's it's me. You know what I'm saying? So if they can't accept me as I am, then it ain't meant to be a relationship with those those listeners. Yeah. And that's cool. That's how it be. But um, yeah, that's that's really like my biggest thing. But as far as like the money and shit, um. Sometimes I kind of have, you know, like doubts about, damn, bro, you putting thousands and thousands of dollars into this shit. That's a fact. <laughs> but like, it, I think about it like this, like, if you don't put in, what are you going to get out? If you're not putting in anything, you're not putting in hundreds and thousands of dollars into what, what you have a passion for. What are you, what are you going to get out of it? And Shit, we got this this life that we living right now, and I'd rather spend my life, my time here. We don't know when we leaving. I'd rather spend my time putting my money into something that I give a fuck about. There's a lot of people that spend money on shit they don't care about just to impress other people. Yeah. And I'm not one of those people. I'm a, bro. Like, for instance, Electric, Lem- uh, uh, Electric Lemonade, Fatality, bro. I spent over $2,000 on both of those Ooh. videos. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't got, like, crazy millions of hundreds of thousands they of hard, views. They hard, though. They super hard. And it, they it, hard. People gonna notice later on, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna see yeah, like, damn, sure. this nigga really gave a fuck about this shit long ass yeah. time ago. And now this shit finally, you know what I'm saying? Now well, motherfuckers love to see the grind too though. Yeah, bro. And that, that's you know what I'm that's saying? that's what I've accepted, bro. This is part of the grind. Like not yeah. not receiving it immediately. Yeah. It's cool, bro. Like I'm confident in what I got. So it yeah. is what it is. Motherfuckers like the grind, bro, because yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Um I can look back at like one of the first songs I ever made, like with a with a group that I was in mm. back in KC, like back twenty seventeen, bro. That shit's on SoundCloud. I wish it wasn't, but <laughs> <laughs> that, that motherfucker. I go back and listen. I'm like, damn, that shit ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that shit ass. Nah, but then you know what I'm saying. I I, li- I listen to some of my yeah. newer shit. I'm like, damn, like I done came a long mm-hmm. way. Like that's the grind. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Practicing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what you know on your craft mm-hmm. and shit like that. So yeah, man, that's 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 dope. Um, and actually, nigga, let me show you something real quick, nigga. Cause it is is it's the mic, uh-huh. but you got the thorns. So like, if you try to grab the mic, uh, you gonna, you gonna hurt shit, yourself. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you sacrificing something to get to the Facts. music. You feel Facts. me? I fuck so, with, bro. I fuck with that. Yeah, that's you hard. know what I'm saying. So you gotta that's sacrifice. That's hard. It, this music shit come with sacrifice. Oh, bro. Bruh. If only niggas knew, bro. Like, <laughs> for sure. they think niggas just doing this shit to be cool and shit, bro. Like, no, bro. Yeah, nah, this shit. This, this shit, shit hurt yeah. a lot. <laughs> a lot, a bro. My wallet, my heart, <laughs> all type of shit. But it is what it is. That's a fact. <laughs> do you do music with anybody else? Like, feature and shit like that? Yeah, I feature um, really on whoever asks me. Um, it just depends, you know. Okay. So, but. going off of that, if somebody asks you or pays you mm-hmm. for a feature... If the song asks, you still hopping on it? Bro, it's crazy. <laughs> uh, yes, bro. Yes. Okay. And, 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 the okay. Sim- and the simple fact is, is I was once trash. So who am I to judge somebody's sound and be like, nah, I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, yeah. bro, we sometimes uh, us artists, we have a, a, a super big fucking ego and like we're just like, oh well, this guy's like beneath me, so I'm not gonna feature, I'm not gonna be on his song. But bro, you don't even know this. This uh, it could be a song that this man do, and he blow up before your stupid ass. Yeah. And then you yeah. didn't, you didn't fucking help that nigga 
and now yep. you 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 want a feature from him yep, now yeah. because your ass, yep. you know what I'm saying? So bro, I bro, if I could bless somebody, you know what I'm saying? On top of that, like this person believe in my they they believe in 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 me, bro. Mm-hmm. If somebody reaching out to you, it's not only a business move, but they believe in you as a person. They believe in your sound. They believe that you gonna be something. So they reaching out for that before before everything pop off. You know what I'm saying? So nigga. If you believe in me, nigga, why well, can't believe in you? It, 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 it's, it's a it's a it's a relationship that that can benefit the both of us, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like facts. So shit, why not? Yeah, I'll facts. do it. I'll do a trash song. I don't care. I believe that too, bro, because I feel like even if you know you better than this artist, bro, mm-hmm. you can help that artist get better. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? About. That's and what then it's about. once they once they get better, once they on their right track, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? You still making music with them, whether you know what I'm saying, whether it's mm-hmm. good, bad, good, bad, or whatever. Mm-hmm. But not only that, you can take that song that you feel like isn't that good, you can turn that motherfucker into a good song. Exactly. So, it's all about the, how you looking at it, bro. I read in an article um, on you that certain life and struggles that you had mm-hmm. are the reason that you even picked up the pen. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. can you tell me how? Tata Samurai actually came about and what was the turning point and why, you know, it, why you started even doing the music shit? Shit, um, well, shit, when I was young, I was like a, a huge dreamer, bro, and it was very hard to, like, express like, how I feel and shit, really just everyday shit, especially, I, I, well, I have a brother, but uh, he was way older, and he ended up moving back to Chicago. So I pretty much was like home alone, not home alone, but you know, only child. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was, it was like damn near impossible for me to express myself to my parents. I got into uh, poetry, so poetry was a way, you know, most poets know that that you can, you know, express yourself and get your ideas and thoughts out, so you won't fucking overload. Right. And um around this time I was listening to Lupe Fiasco heavy okay. and I it just clicked like bro you should literally just put poetry on a beat like that would just be that just would be cool so I, I juggled the idea for like some time and um I, I guess I just didn't I never took it serious I started you know freestyling in high school just for fun bringing you know bringing a lot of crowds around just doing it and um it just became to a point where like after high school, I, I really noticed that I really don't care about anything else. I love music, and this is, like, something that I really, really want to do. I, I don't want to be in an office. I don't want to be mopping and sweeping and cleaning motherfuckers' bathrooms. For sure. I don't want to be doing, like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? That's The generation before us had to do that, and they yeah. felt like they had to do that, and they, and they, they put those ideas on us, like, yeah. hey, if you don't keep this job, you're not this. But, you ain't gonna make it. Yeah, bro. So, um, I just, I just said, you know what? This is something that I feel like I can, I can do. This is something that I have a passion for, and this is something that I won't feel like I'm wasting my life away. So, I started doing that. Um, the Tata Samurai thing came from. Um, I just have a huge like fascination with like Japanese culture, uh, especially their cars. That's what that's what brought it upon me was the cars. Like, I've had. I'm 27 now. I've only had, I've had about 30 cars. Damn. And um, most of them are Japanese. I, I think I've only had like two American vehicles. And um, just the way that Japanese cars made me feel, bro. I was just like, <laughs> man, I, I just. You're on that too fast and furious type. Yeah, of bro. <laughs> like, man, it's just it. It was just it was just an amazing feeling, man. And and when it came to like creating the name for it, I was like, man, what is, what is gonna put a powerful statement, like when you when you read that name, like what is gonna be powerful? So, I juggled the idea. Uh, at first, it was Samurai Tie, and then I had asked somebody. I was like, how does that sound? Like, does it sound like? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it got power on it. And I was like, uh, I was all right. I went back. I was like, how to samurai? That's, that's hard. Like, ain't nobody out here calling themselves samurai. So I'm like, cool. I like that. And um, the meaning behind samurai is basically, uh, I feel like I feel like we all have a, you know, 
a, a warrior inside of us that's like fighting off everyday fucking struggles. You know what I'm saying? Like suicidal thoughts and 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 just negativity, bro. We have something inside of us that's like not letting that shit affect our lives, bro. So I, I gave that thing a name, and that's that's the samurai. So that's what's that's up. where that came from. Yeah, that's hard. So kind of back to the car situation, bro. Mm-hmm. If you follow this nigga on Instagram, this nigga is being supercars every fucking day. I don't know what he do. That's his business. But this nigga be in a, a, some some crazy shit every on day. a daily. Yeah. So what's your dream car? Oof, I got a few, but uh, my my top right now they're both they're both Toyotas. But my top right now is like a 1990 uh, JZA 70 Supra, a Mark III Supra. Okay. Oh man, that that thing, bro. I've I've had a, uh, I've had three, maybe four uh, American versions of that car, but I want the Japanese version. You know, the steering wheels on the right. Yeah, so I'll be shifting with my left. That's just that's that's hard. That shit right there, bro. That's hard. Yeah. So sticking with some shit that you like, mm-hmm. um, I also uh, heard in a song that you was like, I'm stomping on these niggas in my SBs. Are you yeah. a sneakerhead? Man, you know what? <laughs> Funny story, bro. So, in high school, I was a huge, a uh, huge sneakerhead, huge, huge, huge. I had Jeremy Scott Adidas out the ass, damn near fucking every pair. Had SBs out the ass, and this is before everybody started hopping on the SB wave. Like nobody, yeah, no, no, nobody no. was, was giving SBs. a nobody I was, was giving SBs. a fuck. You remember yeah, this, bro? Yeah, I was on SBs in 2014, bro. Bro, yes, I was on yes. SBs, <laughs> bro. I'm telling you, nobody cared about that shit. Nobody was even worried about that shit. Like I had, I had shit that wasn't even released in the U.S., bro, and yeah. nobody blinked. Nah, nobody. Eye. Yeah, nobody's like, yeah. It's crazy. So like, it got to a point where I was like, man, why am I doing all this shit, bro? Like, fuck it. I, I, I sold my whole collection, bro. Like, I kept like one shoe. I still have them shoes to this day. I got 2003 uh, Nike SB Broncos, Ooh. gray box, crazy. But uh, OG everything. OG everything. Got the extra <laughs> laces. Bro, OG shit didn't even say SB. They were SBs, but they didn't say yeah, SB. That's right. before they niggas don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, bro. But um, yeah, I ended up selling my whole collection and shit because I guess my 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 people brainwashed me into thinking I was just doing the most, and I just started to believe it, bro. And I was just like, man, I'm out of high school. I don't need this shit no more. So I start, I sold my whole shit, and I'm really fucking hurt about that shit because like I'm seeing the prices of shit that I had yeah crazy. I'm like man bro I could have been whole, <laughs> not a millionaire but I would have had some bread right yeah, now nah, bro just having them shoe but that's it is what it is bro you that's live. you uh so I seen it in Electric Lemonade you know what I'm saying you was in a skateboard shop shit mm-hmm. like that you in the skateboarding and shit that's 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 like a part of my being bro <laughs> like I've been skating since um 06 07 uh, my dad first got me my skateboard when I was like ten, but I didn't like really pick it up. I, I we ended up moving. I lost that board, and then uh, I went to O'Donnell Middle School. I think that was '06, and um, I just seen like a couple of the homies was bringing boards, and I was like, "Damn, I want to skate again." So yeah. went to Walmart, got a fucking Walmart board, and it was a wrap. I ain't never quit since then. It's been a shit. You still do it like now? Yeah, I still skate, bro. Yeah. Like, That's for sure. Not not as much as I as I would like, but you know I got to put more more focus on the music. But yeah, for sure. It's kind of like some extra shit you do on the side. Yeah, I still know, focus on the music. Heavy, okay. Yeah. So kind of shifting back towards the features ish or whatever, mm-hmm. but um, networking. I'm stupid big on networking mm-hmm. because I'm a DJ. Um, I'm every I damn near do everything when it comes to the industry shit, Excellent. and I think. It don't matter if you, you know what I'm saying, you only make beats, but you only use, you know, hi-hats or a certain mm-hmm. 808 or whatever. You you just do certain shit. Mm-hmm. I feel like networking with any and everybody, no matter if I need you now, or I'm going to need you six months from now, or I'm going to need you two years from now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's, for me, something that I, I it don't matter who you are, I'm going to I'm gonna always take your card, your business card, your information, all of that shit. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about networking? I'm the same fucking way, bro. Like same way to the to the to the point where I got people contacts that I'm probably not even gonna need for like years, but yeah. I know I'm gonna need them. Mm-hmm. And you meet you meet people for a reason, and if it's like pressing on you to like 
link with that person or tap in with that person and you don't do it, bro, that's, that's, you going to fuck yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. literally, bro, like, I tapped in with, uh, with a homie at, uh, Astral World. I went to Astral World, uh, what year was that? Was that last year? Uh, the Astral World Fest? Yeah. The, I think it was last year. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I went to that and I was tapping in with people there and, uh, that I met. That's crazy. <sighs> I was, it's so funny, bro. I, I wasn't even in Houston. Like, I wasn't moved to Houston, yeah. but his first fest he did, mm-hmm. I was here for the first and the second one. Mm-hmm. I never went, but I, I had, my sister lives here, yeah. and I was here for both fests, and I never fucking went. Damn. Yeah, That nah. might be the last one, <laughs> I, I, know, I know. I yeah, no, no. But, yeah, no. Nah, um, Damn. What, what was you saying about your homie with the, the uh, Astral World Fest? My yeah, fault. so I had met, I had met uh, this dude, and he was real cool. He had a slab. And I was like, man, that, that slab like really hard, bro. And I and I, I just got a little vision of that slab with a song. I didn't know what song it was, yet. I haven't wrote it yet, but I tapped in with him. I was like, bro, I'm gonna need you. I literally told him, I was like, bro, I'm gonna need you, bro. I don't For know sure. when I'm gonna need you though. So uh, it's crazy. I actually, just finished a song that I'm gonna be needing him uh, very soon. So yeah, bro, okay. that's that's the biggest thing about mm-hmm. networking, bro. And that's why I like. Whenever I meet somebody or or whatever, bro, I don't try to be no asshole or nothing mm-hmm. like that to them, bro. Because you never know, yeah, you never know who they gonna be, mm-hmm. who they know, mm-hmm. and shit like that, bro. All about the, this industry shit is all about who you know, not what you know. You Man, feel me? It's all about that. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm in class right now for music business management. I'm mm-hmm. not going for no degree because mm-hmm. I don't need a fucking degree in the mm-hmm. music industry. That nice. shit ain't finna be get me nothing. Knowledge. I'm only going. I'm I'm just getting the certificate mm-hmm. to know what the fuck you know. What I'm saying the ins and outs of this shit, mm-hmm. and then you know if I want to go work for a label, if I want to start my own label, mm-hmm. if I want to do all, if I want to manage artists, I can do that shit. Mm-hmm. You know I'm so deep into the business side of the mm-hmm. industry, bro. It's crazy. Like I mm-hmm. know so much shit about this industry, and I feel like that'll help me out. But mm-hmm. knowing the right people too Big will facts. get me there too. Big so. Facts. Kind of piggybacking off of that, man. Whenever you do make it big time, because I believe you will, my nigga. I appreciate that. Um, how do you plan on, or how do you plan on aiming to make a difference in the industry, but also making a difference here in Houston, if that's something you want to do? Uh, making it. I'm gonna start with the industry. Making a difference in the industry, shit. Just making music more real again, bro. I feel like music and got so goddamn watered down and, and and artificial, bro. Literally artificial. Capital Records just signed a fucking the fucking the, the AI, fake artists, yeah, yeah, like, that was crazy. The yeah, like, they dropped them. They dropped them, <laughs> but it's the fact that y'all even considered yeah, doing, doing this some shit like that. That's that ridiculous. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Um, I'm, I'm trying to bring the real. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that's bringing the real back. You got Dreamville, you got Kanye, you got. There's a lot of people out here. You know, sure. just to na- just to name a few. But um, yeah, bro, I just feel like I feel like everybody really doing this shit for the wrong reasons, and. Um, I just feel like we 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 as a as a people, especially black people, we got to do better. Like as far as like what we just you know putting out there, um, like excessive negativity is just yeah. like on a on a rampage right now, bro. Yeah. Like even that's even like reflected in my music. I'm trying to like put a whole different message out there. Like, um, I may talk my shit here and there, but like my my whole sound in like catalog is not based off of negativity yeah. you know what i'm saying like i'm trying to good vibes yeah i'm trying yeah. to yeah progress with that shit but as far as houston i'm trying to eventually you know create my own label and make it easier for real artists to to become something bro because i feel like it's so fucking hard for real artists to come through the cracks bro it's like all this bullshit is what's getting pushed out there so like my my label will specifically um focus on the nobodies, you know what I'm saying? The yeah. people that don't have 30K, people that got the 2K, access to this, you know to what I'm saying? Shit, yeah, yeah. And, give them, and give them what I was looking for when I was trying to come up. So um, try to just get back to the shit. You know, I'm going to start with Houston. Obviously, that's where I'm at right now. So I'm going to start with Houston. But shit, really, I'm trying to take this shit worldwide, try to find everybody and anybody and everybody that got a talent, bro. Not even just music, bro. Like, shit, whatever you do, if you do it good, you know what I'm saying? So I noticed that <clears throat> just being a DJ, bro. Mm-hmm. So I when I moved out here, I didn't expect what the fuck I what the fuck I got. Mm-hmm. I got everybody want to be an artist, right? Everybody want to be an artist. Everybody yeah. want to be famous, but don't nobody want to put the work in. You feel me? Nobody. So 
when I got here, I didn't expect everybody to be a fucking DJ either. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was hard for me to first, I moved down here in January 2020, and then mm-hmm. three months later, fucking pandemic happened. <laughs> God. And I didn't see, no, I mean, Ooh, I didn't see that shit coming, bro. Geez. So, you know what I'm saying? Fuck me all up for the whole for whole 2020. But mm-hmm. Houston apparently never shut the fuck down. Barely. <laughs> you know it barely did. Never really shut down. It barely did, bro. Like, people was outside, bro. Yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> so, for me to, I had to grow into getting a better mouthpiece when mm-hmm. I go to these places because I don't have a lot of followers on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And I noticed something about you, you motherfucking DJs out there. I noticed something about you niggas. Y'all got 15, 20K followers, but nigga, when I look at your followers, they all bots. So y'all niggas is buying y'all followers, bro. Man. But not nah, like, so when I go to these places, <laughs> when I go to these places, I'm, they like, uh, I'm like, hey, you know, I'm trying to DJ, you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me, let me fuck, with, mm. fuck with me one, one time. You mm. feel me? And they like, how many followers you got? Nigga, it don't matter how many followers I got. Number one, I'm not from here. So, Damn, you know bro, what I'm that's saying? That's whack, bro. So, so that's how it, it really be like that. They, they be like, how many followers you got? I'm like, don't worry about how many followers I got. Nigga, I'm not from here. So if, if if I had 10,000, 20,000, or 200, I can't bring you not one soul because I don't nobody. I don't Facts. know nobody. You feel me? So Damn. me going through, the, through them trials and tri- tribulations and shit like that, when you doing music, how does, you know what I'm saying? I know as being an artist too that, you know, it's hard to maybe get gigs, get people to listen to your music, mm-hmm. shit like that. How do you kind of really counteract that shit or like go about it? Shit, you just gotta not to sound corny, but you, you literally just gotta believe in yourself, bro. Like it, and know what power that you hold with it, with, with whatever the fuck you're doing. Like that's why I created my my team. Show them all. It's literally show them all. Like motherfuckers ain't believing you. Fuck it. Like I I've went through that shit. Like caring about you know, oh I don't have this or that, and people gonna look at me a certain way because I don't have this and that, and that wasn't getting me shit. So what I did, I, 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 I changed my whole, I cleared my whole Instagram and my whole bio and everything. And I was like, I'm I'm going to rebrand and, and I'm only going to put the best content out. And I'm going to continue to fucking do that until something fucking happens. And people can fucking deny you because of your followers. They can deny you because of comments or whatever the fuck. But if you continue to put quality shit out there. They can only fucking deny you for so long, bro. It's a fact. Like, what? <laughs> That's a fact. So, I believe that one reason why I fuck with you mm-hmm. is, I believe what you believe in is a lifestyle, bro. It's not a fucking gimmick. Yes. Like, yes. Chef Radio is not a fucking gimmick. Facts. That's a lifestyle. Started here, ending far. That's what I believe in, bro. You start in one place, and then when I'm done with this shit, I'm ending far. That's hard. You feel me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> <laughs> so you know what I'm saying that's not a it's gimmick hard. to me you know yeah. what I'm saying I, be, I really believe that shit yeah. I'm, nigga I got what maybe 12 subscribers on this fucking YouTube channel right yeah, now you, you know matter, what I'm saying bro. but in a year from now I know what the fuck I'm, where the fuck I'm gonna be bro. at you feel me Facts. so Facts. I, I, that's why I, I just wanted to let you know nigga that's why I really fuck with you cause it don't seem like you know what I'm saying this shit is a Tyler yeah. Samurai is a fucking gimmick it's no that's not, a fucking bro. lifestyle like, bro. This, is, this is me bro like and I can't express. I, I I be trying to like express that shit, but I can't express it. That's why. I, that's why I just said show them all, bro. Literally, I'm just I'm just showing, bro. Cause niggas, I'm tired of talking. I'm tired of trying to yeah. tell people, oh, I'm I'm this. I'm nah, fuck that shit, bro. I'm just gonna do everything that I'm envisioning. Like everything that I'm doing is so calculated, bro. People don't even understand, bro. I'm I'm like God telling me Himself what the fuck to do, and that's why everything I'm doing is coming out the way it's coming out. It's because I'm listening to the spirit, bro. And if you're not listening, really, if you not even if you're not listening, if this shit ain't for you, bro, you not you it ain't for you, and you are gonna see that in in the in the fruit, bro. If it's not for you, it's not for you. But if you know it's for you, and and it's something in your spirit that just tell you it's for you, bro, you, it ain't nothing that you or anybody could do to fuck that up, bro. Unless you, well, you can fuck it up by not listening. But if you listening and you doing everything you gotta do, bro, that shit, that shit up, bro. It's up. Yeah, so another thing too, like with my music, I have like not necessarily not necessarily a slogan, but what I always tell people about my music is it requires different ears for better vibes. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Do you how do you feel like that? You know what I'm saying? That kind of goes with your music as well? Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like acquired taste. Um for for me, um 
I started uh, experimenting with like psychedelics in like 2016, and so my my sound is kind of like originated from those experiences. So it'll hit very different for people that are like me. You understand what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So for that for that reason, I do I do say you know shit this shit ain't. Not everybody music for everybody. There's for people. Sure. There's people that that don't fuck with Kanye, which is completely ridiculous. To me. <laughs> but there's people that don't fuck with Kanye. There's people that yeah. say Travis Scott is trash. There's people that fucking say Lupe is garbage. There's people. You know what I'm saying? Those are just a few people. But there's people that really believe that in their heart, and that's fine. But like I said, and like you said, like all you gotta do is literally just put your best out there. That's all you can do, bro. Put your for shit sure. out there, and shit is gonna come around, bro. Everybody gonna fuck with it one day. I got you. Mm. So, in Fatality, um, you had another lyric in there said, uh, they put you into a cop car. So, mm. nigga, how much trouble you done got into these goddamn Houston streets, nigga? Oh. <laughs> bro, I ain't gonna cap, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, not even, like, I'm not a, I'm not a thug or nothing, bro. But, like, man. Do, do police be fucking, <laughs> fucking with niggas out here? I don't know, bro. Man, not really, bro. HP, not really HPD, bro. Fort Ben don't be on some bullshit. And Katie be, you know, that's Fort Ben too. But you know, Sugarland and Katie, they be on that bullshit. But HPD don't really be on that shit. But honestly, bro, I've been, I've been getting in trouble since like fifth grade, bro. <laughs> as far as the laws, like, I got expelled from uh, elementary. Um, they told me I couldn't come back, so I couldn't come back. Um, came and went to fifth grade. Got caught up. Doing some shit there. Fucking got locked up in fifth grade, bro. God, bro. You can look that up. Like, they ain't cap. This nigga rebellion. <laughs> this nigga rebellion. But yeah, bro. It's, it's been like, I don't know, bro. It's just, I guess I was just figuring out life, bro. Like, yeah, no. Nah, yeah. Just like going through. Going know. through that shit. Yeah, so. Yeah, no, nah, that makes sense. <laughs> um, any new projects about to drop or coming out or what you doing? Man, bro. I've been, I've been really, um. So I've been working on a a, a little project uh, f- mentally for for years, like years, years, at least five. I've been working on it mentally, but physically I've been working on it for like two and a half. Um, so hopefully, um, I've been locked in pretty much every week on that. Hopefully I get it done. Maybe by the beginning of next year, is because I, I got another rollout for some other shit I'm trying to do. Um, but yeah, I got, I got a single coming soon. I'm doing a rollout for that one too. Okay. I just got a, a bunch of big drops, you know what I'm saying? So you. I'm trying to, I got you. trying to consolidate everything and make sure I'm doing the, you know, making the right moves on that. So uh, for other, for another artist, like I got a couple friends back home mm-hmm. that I tell them all the time, you got to find other avenues to get your music out there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I became a DJ. That was another avenue for me to get my music out there. Mm-hmm. I ended up having a clothing brand. That was another avenue. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Can you tell me about if you have any other avenues or any avenue you could tell somebody else that is an artist that, that put their music out on Apple Music, Spotify, or whatever, they get the same 40 plays, and they're like, man, fuck this shit. Like, how, how the fuck I get more you know, more pl- plays or whatever? Um, I really... Th- I- I've really been doing a lot, bro. Like I do, I'm into so many things. So like, as far as like the car world, cars, um, you know, chopping it up with people like that come through to my job, um, art. I do art too. So like, shit. Whenever I post my art or you know somebody commission me to do their art, then y'all just throw the music in there too. Like it, it just depends. It just depends like on on really like what it is. But I game too. So shit. Okay. If I'm on Xbox or whatever. Shout out Xbox, <laughs> fuck PlayStation. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> sorry man, I had to do it, man. You see my PS5 scene right there, bro. <laughs> had to do it. <laughs> but yeah, bro, like it just you know, it just w- when I feel I don't really have like a, a, a like a solid you know I guess avenue like being a DJ or yeah, being so. or this or that. But any way that I can throw it in there, I'm gonna throw it in there, bro. Just like I deal with you, like shit. Hey, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just really, just being me and networking, shit. A lot of oh, people, shit. a lot of times, people really just come up to me, and ask me what I do. Like, man, you look like, man, what you do? Like all the all the time, bro. So yeah. shit, it was given. All right, shit. I make music. Here, here's, <laughs> here's me. You know what I'm saying? Check me out. 
blah blah blah. But shit, it's, you know, it's just vibes, really. So that'd yeah, be about sure. it. For sure, no, I feel you on that. But uh, yeah, we definitely about to wrap it up though, man. Um, I appreciate you for coming through, man. You got anything else you want to let them know to, you know, follow you? Where where where, they, where should everybody follow you, man? Shit, Tata Samurai, T Y T H E S A M U R A I, Tata Samurai. That's on every. Yeah, that's on pretty much everything. I don't really fuck with Twitter like that. I need to get back on Twitter and try to get that up because I know Twitter Twitter be going crazy too. But uh, Instagram, Tata Samurai. Um, what else? I'm tired of summer on uh, Clubhouse. I don't really use that too, but hey so. man, also look this nigga up on YouTube, bro. Oh, yeah, YouTube. Definitely fuck with the electric lemonade, bro. Oh, I I don't give a fuck if that bitch ten years old, nigga. I'm I'm <laughs> blasting that shit. That shit is hard, bro. Man. The video hard. This nigga was in the motherfucking go kart. Had the blue lights on that motherfucker. Man, motherfucking electric. You know what I'm saying? Little lightning strike on that motherfucker. Wild, bro. But that shit was man. hard, bro. bro. You seen with no jumper? Uh, Adam Twenty Two has shot at that hoe out, bro. Damn, for real? Yes, bro. It's on my page. But it's just like nothing had happened from that, bro. But it's all good, though. We on the way. Yeah, nah, for real, man. Man, fuck with that nigga, Tata Samurai, man. For sure, bro. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. It's DJ Prem, Chef Radio. Gang. Yes, sir. Hey, I appreciate that, man. Tyler Samurai for coming through, rocking with me with Chef Radio, believing in what the fuck I got going on over here, man. Hey, make sure y'all go on there. Check out that man's Electric Lemonade. Fuck with him. Fuck with what the fuck he got going on over there. Fucking with Chef Radio. I got that boy DJ Just 100 coming on next week. We're going to turn the fuck up, man. Hey, keep it locked always. Thursdays, Wake and Bake Wednesdays. It is Chef Radio. Let's go!